Elon Musk surprised the world with the launch of V2 and V3. The V2 launch has now been successfully completed. But what about the status of V3? While many speculate that it is still years away, could it be sooner than anticipated? Recent difficulties with V2 suggest that V3 could launch earlier than previously projected. So when can we expect to see it launch? Furthermore, what factors could potentially lead to its rapid launch ahead of V2? Let's dive deeper in today's episode of NR Studio. Few flights have elicited such intense feelings of nervousness, anxiety, and excitement in viewers as Flight 8. While the delays were not particularly long, their frequent occurrences proved to be quite frustrating, culminating in the countdown to a complete halt with less than a minute left. Ultimately, all issues were resolved amicably, allowing the flight to proceed as scheduled. However, as you can see, Flight 8 once again exposed significant issues. While the mission marked a remarkable achievement with its third overall success and second consecutive successful recovery of the thruster using the Mechazel arm, the mission continued to experience issues with the Super Heavy's engines during the thruster burn. However, the main focus was placed on the ship. The second iteration of Starship 52S3 showed a repeat of the same failures observed on its predecessor, S33. Once again, it appeared that issues related to pressurization and fuel leaks led to engine failure, ultimately resulting in loss of control of the ship. This prompted significant investigation. Was a significant upgrade needed to address the ongoing challenges in V2, or should we consider moving straight to V3? At first glance, it may seem counterintuitive. However, given recent developments, it is quite feasible. The repeated delays of Flight 8 revealed a number of issues affecting several components of the craft. Initially, the Super Heavy experienced pressure-related challenges. Elon Musk stated that the fuel pressure dropped during the transfer from the tank to the engine, dropping below the required threshold, which further compromised performance, imposed a significant risk to takeoff. Subsequently, the craft experienced complications, the specifics of which are still under wraps. However, we observe personnel conducting inspections around the liquid oxygen tank, indicating potential issues. Furthermore, during the March 5th stacking attempt, a heat shield tile detached from the spacecraft, raising concerns about the integrity of the system. Further issues arose with the hot station clamping system, which was found to be damaged. Even the critical interim stowage mechanism, the blowpipe, experienced issues with its launch system. These ongoing issues forced SpaceX to allocate additional time for troubleshooting before restarting the stacking and launch process. While they addressed these issues with relative expedience, the resultant delays have sparked concerns regarding the genuine efficacy of V2's design upgrades. The deficiencies of V2 were apparent prior to Flight 8, notably during Flight 7. During that flight, Super Heavy demonstrated remarkable performance overall. However, one engine failed to ignite during the boost backburn. SpaceX subsequently elaborated that the failure was attributed to the activation of the safe abort system in response to a low power condition within the igniter system. Fortunately, the engine subsequently operated effectively, contributing to the successful landing of the Super Heavy. S-33, on the other hand, presented a distinct narrative. The vessel experienced a calamitous malfunction, resulting in an explosion merely minutes post-launch. Musk subsequently verified that the explosion was a result of a fuel leak, which precipitated an excessive accumulation of pressure within the cavity situated above the engine firewall. SpaceX's official communique indicated that harmonic resonance proved excessively robust during the flight, which subsequently heightened the stress on the propulsion system. This incident resulted in a fuel leak, a surge in pressure, and a subsequent fire, culminating in the total destruction of the vehicle. Additionally, the presence of a fire within the aft flap system indicates that the existing flap design may be less than optimal. Collectively, these concerns indicate that the V2 design possesses inherent deficiencies, prompting the question, why not consider a significant overhaul by transitioning directly to V3? What specific modifications would V3 entail? Undoubtedly, V3 would introduce substantial enhancements in design. Initially, Super Heavy is set to receive enhancements to its hot staging system, the very system that previously encountered difficulties prior to Flight 8. The innovative hot staging design will be streamlined, enhancing efficiency and risk mitigation, while simultaneously advancing production, operational procedures, and refurbishment efforts. 
It would additionally be more lightweight, enhancing overall flight performance, which is a crucial advancement towards achieving full reusability. Crucially, this redesign aims to mitigate the effects of stage separation, thereby augmenting reliability. Subsequently, the engine system is poised for substantial enhancements. The V3 is set to incorporate Raptor 3 engines, which offer greater power, enhanced simplicity, and significantly improved reliability compared to their Raptor 2 predecessors. These engines effectively tackle the shortcomings observed in Flight 7. In conjunction with the enhancements made to the engine, the fuel tank system will be upgraded to meet the heightened fuel requirements of the Raptor 3, thereby ensuring superior efficiency. Moreover, the launch pad infrastructure encompassing the chopsticks will undergo enhancements to address ongoing challenges and improve enduring operational reliability. With these enhancements, V3 would effectively address the deficiencies identified in V2. Why not initiate the transition now to expedite Starship's progression towards stability and reusability? In addition to technical improvements, the imperative to shift to V3 is also driven by impending mission requirements. As articulated by Lisa Watson Morgan, the manager of NASA's Human Landing System Program, it is imperative for V3 to become operational by the conclusion of this year in order to facilitate the advancement of the orbital refueling system. This refueling system is crucial for Starship's deep space endeavors, supplying the requisite fuel to journey to destinations such as the Moon and Mars. It has the potential to operate in one of two capacities. Either Starship tankers will directly transfer fuel to the primary vessel in orbit, or a fuel depot will be established to facilitate refueling as required. In both scenarios, V3 would play a pivotal role in facilitating efficient and dependable fuel transfer, thereby establishing itself as an essential element of SpaceX's long-term mission strategies. This iteration of the Starship is anticipated to be considerably more expansive than its predecessors, V1 and V2, boasting an impressive total height of 150 meters. The Super Heavy rocket would soar to a height of 80.2 meters, while the spacecraft itself would attain a stature of 69.8 meters. Consequently, Starship 5-3 would accommodate a significantly greater fuel capacity. Super Heavy weighs 50,000 tons, while the ship itself carries an additional 2,300 tons. When integrated with engine optimizations, V3 is poised to significantly enhance refueling efficiency. Furthermore, Lisa Watson Morgan disclosed that V3 will incorporate specialized hardware meticulously engineered for refueling operations, encompassing advanced coupling mechanisms and rapid disconnect systems. The components previously lacking in V2 are crucial for guaranteeing the secure and effective transfer of cryogenic fuel, thereby augmenting Starship's potential for deep space endeavors. It is evident that V3 is more appropriately aligned with the refueling mission. The evolution of Starship is progressing at an astonishing rate, as SpaceX establishes an ambitious timeline for its forthcoming missions. Uncrewed Starship missions to Mars are scheduled for the forthcoming two years, succeeded by crewed endeavors two years thereafter. Furthermore, the Starship HLS is slated to facilitate a human landing on the Moon in 2027. As we progress into 2025, it is imperative that the systems necessary for these pioneering missions are constructed and subjected to rigorous testing without hesitation. To ensure the success of these ambitious initiatives, it is imperative for V3 to swiftly transition into the launch phase, phasing out V2. Given the persistent technical issues associated with V2 and the mounting urgency surrounding forthcoming missions, the transition to V3 is imminent, perhaps more so than the general populace appreciates. Do you support SpaceX accelerated transition to V3? Please share your thoughts by replying with V3 in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on SpaceX revolutionary endeavors in space exploration. Before the full-scale deployment of Starship 5-3, SpaceX must first improve and optimize the operations and improvements associated with the existing V2 model. The foundation of this progress lies in the proficient execution of both Starship landing and recovery phases with a particular emphasis on Super Heavy, which utilizes the Mechazilla arm. Through the accomplishment of two consecutive booster captures, SpaceX has demonstrated an increased level of confidence and proficiency in executing these maneuvers. However, a major upcoming milestone requires integrating these capabilities into the ship itself, thereby achieving complete reusability at all stages. This effort will not only advance the boundaries of economical space travel, 
It will also lay the foundation for critical future missions, such as in-orbit refueling operations. In addition to refining the recovery system, SpaceX must continue to expand its orbital testing. Starting and sustaining Starship's engines effectively in the vastness of space will be critical to space missions and establishing a reliable refueling infrastructure. While SpaceX has made significant progress, there are still several critical mission phases that have yet to be validated, particularly in the area of payload deployment. The challenges encountered during Flight 7 and 8 underscore the need for improvements in this domain, given its critical role in facilitating cargo and crew transport to places like the Moon and Mars. Proactively addressing these issues will facilitate the establishment of a robust operational framework for V3. Verification of improvements and refinements across spacecraft systems is critical, including advances in wing coverings, engines, heat shields, and fuel tanks. While certain advances in V2 appear promising in theory, they have not yet undergone comprehensive evaluation through flight testing. Since neither Flight 7 nor Flight 8 successfully re-entered the atmosphere with a fully operational heat shield, this aspect continues to require comprehensive testing. Ensuring heat shield durability will be critical to Starship's long-term reusability, especially for missions that require periodic re-entry. In addition to upgrades, SpaceX must also address ongoing technical challenges that have emerged during recent flights. Persistent issues such as leaks and inconsistent pressurization indicate underlying systemic vulnerabilities that require comprehensive remediation before moving on to the next iteration of the vehicle. These challenges are complex and require careful engineering solutions. However, addressing them will improve the safety and reliability of future flights. Addressing these ongoing challenges will not only improve the reliability of Starship 5-2, but also facilitate a smooth transition to V3, thereby preventing potential legacy issues from these issues on the next generation of spacecraft. Furthermore, it is critical to improve and optimize additional critical systems, including hot staging, fuel tanks, pump systems, and even the blowpipe before SpaceX makes any progress. Each of these elements is integral to the comprehensive functionality of Starship, and progress in these domains will be critical to the success of V3. In essence, the journey to Starship 5-3 is already underway. By addressing the challenges associated with Starship 5-2, SpaceX is building a strong foundation for the most advanced and capable iteration of Starship to date. Upon completion of these improvements, V3's unmatched dimensions, power, and design will solidify SpaceX's lead, while outpacing competitors who continue to grapple with the challenge of closing the gap. In many ways, SpaceX is not just advancing the next iteration of Starship, they are fundamentally redefining the trajectory of the rocket industry as a whole. The arrival of V3 is poised to set a new standard for spaceflight, with its arrival anticipated to occur sooner than previously anticipated. Through every evaluation and improvement, SpaceX. That's it for today's episode until we meet again in the next video. And thank you for always supporting us.